everybody, this is John with uh, NRSMG.com and NursingStudentBooks.com. If you're interested in finding all of our study materials available on Amazon or you know different books and things that we have available, you can go to NursingStudentBooks.com and find all those books. We're a lot of times running different specials and things. And you can also head over to NRSMG.com to find um, more about us and our podcast and everything. So today we're going to talk about butterfly needles. Uh, we just recently did a podcast and video on just basic general IVs. Today we're going to start, we're going to talk actually about butterfly needles. These are a little bit different. So butterfly needles are used to collect um, blood specimen. Of course it even says they're a blood collection set. And they're measured the same as IVs. You can see this green one here is a 21 gauge. You can see there, and the orange one here is a 25 gauge. Okay, and then one thing that uh, so they're measured this just the same way in, in the gauges and the same uh, you know kind of measurements and everything. And they're color coded, of course. You can see the actual butterfly there is the same as the packaging, and same on this 25 gauge. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I like to do this. Uh, there's actually a, a little tab here that says open here. I can tell you that really works because what sometimes you'll see people doing there in a hurry, they're trying to rip this everywhere. It's actually indented right there. You just rip it right open and it's very easy to do. Okay. Now again, this is for um, blood specimen collection for your morning labs or just anytime you have a lab or anything. So you're obviously going to be wearing gloves, you're going to be using alcohol to cleanse the patient and everything. So. What this is here, this little part here actually pops off and you can put uh, a little, screw a little adapter on there and then that can actually go kind of right over your um, blood collection tube. Okay, so you can screw that on there and connect that and then whenever you have a flash of blood in your needle here, you can connect your tube and kind of hold it with this hand here and then you would insert with this hand and then you would just let it, it draw the blood out. Um, through that vacuum tube. But the way I like to do it, there's actually another way you can do it. And the way I like to do it, because it gives me a little more control on the velocity and everything that the blood is coming out, is I actually like to unscrew this. This actually just comes right off. Okay. That comes right off. And you can screw just like a 10cc syringe on here. Um, and it just connects um, right onto there. And so I'll connect that on there. And then I'll you can take that cover off and this exposes the needle of course bevel up like always and then you just insert it directly into a vein. It's a little bit easier to get these than to get a uh, an IV. So what you would do is you would just insert it directly into the vein and you'll see your flash come back right into here. Okay so your flash comes in there and once you have your flash you just set that still. Don't let that move. Okay so that will just stay in the vein once you get your flash and then what I'll do, like I said, is I'll have my 10cc syringe connected here. And while I hold this, so, it, so let's pretend this is a vein here, I'll hold this in the vein. And then I'll pull back on my 10cc syringe and the blood will start to pass through this little tube into your collection chamber. And then you'll just collect as much blood as you need, um, you know, for your, your specimen. Okay. So this can work for that. Uh, and, and it's very helpful. So... The, the, the thing that people will, or that I personally have messed up on here, is once you get in there, it's really easy. The patient's moving, they jerk, and this just comes out of the skin really easily. So it's, it's really important that you kind of get, get it in there and hold it very stable while you collect your blood. And if you have a patient who likes to move a lot, it may be helpful to have two nurses in there or a tech and a nurse to help kind of hold the patient. Okay? So that's really kind of it with the butterfly needle. So you have it in there. Okay, let's say this is our vein. So we have it in our vein. We've got our blood. Now what you need, you need to keep a, a pack of uh, just little sterile 4x4s or something available. And as you're done, once you have your collection, the best thing you can do is you go ahead and put the 4x4s right on top of the skin. Okay. Right where the needle is actually inserted in. And then on the side here, you can see there's little little depressive things, you can just press those in and you pull back and as you see that the needle retracts when you do that. 
So once you have your blood, you're all done. You can hold one finger just right on top of the hub and the other finger will just hold right on to those little knobs. Okay, so this is all one hand doing this, of course. With your other hand, you're going to put your hold your 4x4 right there as you're pulling out. Of course, release your tourniquet. Okay, so you release the tourniquet and then you begin to pull. And listen, you'll hear that once the needle's been completely attracted, you'll hear the click. Okay, and that's it. And this comes out, goes in the garbage, and you hold pressure on there with your, again, with your uh, tourniquet off, of course. And then you can disconnect your your 4 by or your 10 cc syringe and then connect it to your adapter to fill your your blood sample tubes or you know if you're doing it this way you would just kind of pull this out this is really the cleaner way to do it to keep it on here like this I just like having a little more control with my 10 cc so you just connect your little adapter here and then when you're done that keeps it all completely contained and this goes in the soiled uh, you know blood and sharps container alright so that's really it with the butterfly needles a uh, really simple procedure. Usually, if if I have to get blood on my patient, I'll usually wait, obviously, till about four in the morning. Um, and if they need a new IV, I'll I'll grab my blood as I start that new IV. Um, but this is generally a little bit easier to find a vein with for some reason. I don't know, but I usually have. If I'm just getting blood, these tend to be a little bit easier than than if you're starting an IV. All right. So that's really it. All right. Um, if you head over to nrsng.com you can find out more about us you can email me directly contact at nrsng.com or if you head over to nursingstudentbooks.com you can find all of our books and study materials available all right have a great day want a free 20 page sample of the ebook 140 must know nclex meds visit medoftheday.com to download your free pdf sample today that's medoftheday.com